Hey guys, what's up? XD here. In the day, I'm going to be showing you how to go no ragdoll in GTA 5. This means you can literally jump off of rooftops out of planes from a thousand feet up in the air. You can get hit by cars, you know, whatever you want to do. You're not going to go ragdoll mode. Um, I actually think the animations are from GTA 4 or 3 or San Andreas, Vice City. I don't even know. Um, I think one of those was 4. I don't know. Anyways, um, it, it's, it's pretty cool. You don't go ragdoll. Uh, I'll stop wasting time talking. We'll actually get into how to do this. All right, so first things first, you have to have completed the Kaiperico heist at least one time uh, just through that first run. If you haven't done that, this is not going to work for you. Uh, so save your time. Go ahead and click off the video, uh, unless you're just curious, I guess. Uh, but if you have, all you got to do is go over to this blue marker, which is supposed to teleport you to the beach, and go ragdoll. You can have a friend hit you with a vehicle or something, but it's easiest if you do use an up and atomizer, um, but it's not a requirement. It does make it much easier though, so all you got to do is fall ragdoll into that blue marker. As you saw just a second ago, my character didn't actually show up walking through the door on the uh, on the cutscene uh, because he was standing up from going ragdoll. So once you've gone ragdoll and it pops up, all you got to do is back out of that little screen and uh, just walk away from the marker. And as you saw, I just hit myself with an up and atomizer and I didn't go ragdoll. That's how you know that it worked. Now you can kind of just start to experiment with this. So what I did as a start is I hopped in a plane and I flew up to the highest altitude I possibly could, jumped out, and then I landed on top of a tower. And uh, as long as you have a parachute, you will not die from fall damage, no matter how high up it is. Again, I jumped from as high as you could possibly go and look at this stupid animation. <laughs> you see that? That makes no sense, but it works. It works in GTA Online. So anyways, um, yeah, it's pretty much all you got to do is, uh, is just walk into the, the marker and go ragdoll. That's pretty much it. Um, you can do a lot with this, by the way. I did a couple of different tests. Um, first of all, I found that if you die, it'll stay active. So you can die as many times as you want to, and this won't stop working. Uh, you can actually switch sessions as well. As you see here, I switched a whole session, um, and it still stays active to a session. So it's actually hard to deactivate this. I believe you actually have to fully reload into uh, GTA Online. Anyways, if there's one thing that you don't want to do with this, it's jump off of a really high building or something like that or out of a plane without a parachute because then this will not work. Um, it works for pretty much everything except for high jumps without a parachute. As you can see, I had a parachute and of course it's going to work just fine. You take that parachute off though and you're pretty much guaranteed to die. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the glitch. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave them down in the comments below. I'll respond as quick as I can. Sorry about the horrible, horrible commentary. I'm super tired, so it's not going to be the most high energy, but hopefully you get the point anyway. So thank you guys for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. See you then.